Hi, can you sit down? Please. Sorry, Mr. Russell. We're just about ready to kick off in the over 35s final and bizarrely it's two teams from West United who are playing each other in the final. And uh, one of the things you have to say about the West United Soccer Club over the years, they have an incredible record in the five sides. They've, they've provided the winners of the main competitions in the earlier years on numerous occasions, some featuring the legendary um, uh, Chick DC, God rest him, and, and many others. The game has kicked off and uh, <coughs> the... Um, Whoa, and that's an early shot tested Colin Murphy in the, uh, the uh, for, are playing the, in the traditional West United gear of blue and white hoops are actually called West United on this occasion. While the alternative guys in the, uh, in the with the red trim on the blue shorts are called, we might, might not look like it, but we are over 35 apparently. Ollie Raftery with the throw in. That was Will Nocton back in goals there. Ollie Raftery on the ball. He will be the ace in the hole here if, if um, the alternative West team if you like it win this game he, he's really good there and it's a really good stop a great shot by Raftery this guy has played on the winning team of course the big old caps in the past very very fine player and had, and had a long run in the main competition here today but Colin Murphy um, throwing a massive figure between you know the, those goals and difficult man to beat and a really good goalkeeper for a long long number of years so he would be he could be the trump card here for the west united team easy <laughs> closing down connor raftery ball is back mostly knocked in and goals he's in could be in trouble tony crow and almost had it connor Beatty has it well tackled back Connor knocks it in, Tony Crow, and also a bit of a legend in the fives himself over the years with that distinctive uh, grey hair, but let that not fool you, this guy can really play. The West United team in the green and white, and well positioned this game, may not be played at the furious pace that the uh, main final will be played at in a few minutes time, but this is more of a tactical battle here than anything else ball is out with Ollie Raftery again on the left hand side that was Dan Dan Donovan with the ball it's knocked across good shot did that get a touch got a touch off Shane Flaherty uh, so that is going to be another corner here for we might not look it but we are West United against the main West United side with their Munro sponsored gear on, Ali Raftery with. And that was Philly Leiden there with the ball. Back to Raftery. And that's Franny O'Brien in the game now. Franny O'Brien, good tackle, good five spare too. So it's really. There's Tony Crow with a bit of chance. Now we close the keeper. The keeper shows good composure there. Colin Murphy slowing everything down. Gives it to Connor Beatty. Connor Beatty will probe forward once more for West United. He has Shane Flaherty inside. He finds him. Franny O'Brien wide on the left now. O'Brien on the ball. He'll look to bring Tony Crow into the game if he can. He does. He knocks it up the wing to Tony Crow. Crow holds the ball. Very good target man here. He'll probably find it back to O'Brien. O'Brien has it again. Will Shane Flaherty make his way up the right? Franny was going to have one wind one up there. This didn't uh, work too well on this occasion, and the ball goes harmlessly wide. Well into the first half here. We might not look it, but we are trying desperately to get back to get into the game. Franny O'Brien sees that one go out. Colin Murphy will take the goal kick. 
He has Shane Flaherty free on his right. He kicks it long to Tony Crow. Crow takes the ball, gets it under control. Will go at the defence. Rarely gives it away. Is there a free kick there? No, he's it. It's play on. Referee PJ Norman didn't see anything wrong there. And there's Tony Crow in. Oh, very unlucky. Put in by Shane Flaherty. A really, really nice ball. And that's what the West United team will try to do to their club compatriots is try and sucker them into coming forward and then knock the ball in behind them. And if somebody like with the predatory nature of Tony Crow can get in there and he was unlucky on that occasion. It would have been an opportune time to score, but we didn't get it. It's half time here in the uh, final of the over 35s. And just. And just to recap on the teams, uh, Colin Murphy in goal, this is the, the guys in the green and white hoops. Shane Farty is wearing 11, Francis O'Brien 3, Alan Grant is number 12, Connor Beatty 7, Brian Griffin is wearing 15, Tony Crow is number 14 and Matthias O'Malley as number 8 on him. And Matt O'Malley is on at half time and I'm just have, trying to see who's gone off. Shane O'Farty and Franny O'Brien have both gone off. And Alan Grant is also in the game. So West have used two substitutes at half time. Connor Beatty, three substitutes actually. Because Brian Griffin is also in the game. Now Griffin is a very experienced five player. For many years he would have played with several Hibs teams in the uh, in the uh, goal within the Sultan Fives and he is a seriously good player very very experienced and unlikely to give the ball away Oli Raftery they will be looking to him his teammates will be looking looking for uh, some magic for him he has a supporters club over there on the sideline chanting there's only one Oli Raftery there's Alan Grant Will Nocton Goalkeeper brings forward, he's getting it. Is Dan Donovan? Ah, oh, what a save. That is a cracking save by Colin Nocton, and that was uh, PJ Coakley with that shot. And uh, Colin showed all his experience down there, getting down quickly to his left and uh, pu putting the ball out for the corner. This game, as he knocked it in goals, uh, taking chances again. There's Ollie Raftery on the ball again, and he he could be the difference here. This man has some engine. He's played in the main competition in this event as well, and now he's lining out here, and he, he is he might be looking a little leg weary at the moment, but he is the trump card again. Be interesting to see if the style of this game changes anything when we get to full time because neither side have really looked like getting a goal except for that one save there from Murphy but Alan Grant <coughs> but probe again <coughs> surprised to see Tony Crowe be taken off in this game actually because he, he's a dangerous footballer there's a long shot in The rain is starting to come down here now, and it's, I don't know what it is, last year we had downpour for the final. We thought we'd escaped all day here, we didn't have the rain, but now here it comes again and it's starting to really beat in. There's Mats O'Malley, maybe he can pull out a bit of magic. And that's, the wind I think took that ball away, the wind has picked up very significantly here. And the wind is driving in with it. Looking up at the sky here, hoping against hope to get to see a bit of sunshine. There's Brian Griffin. Great shot and great stop by Nocton. That's what I mentioned earlier on, that Brian Griffin is a, is a very, very good player.
Matt O'Malley on the ball now. Still has it. Ball out. And Dunwin into Nocton. Nocton will. Boys are creeping into the game here. We might not look it, but we are. And the ball is wide. Colin Murphy will look to knock it forward quickly to O'Malley. O'Malley, decent touch, gets it. And here's Alan Grant, still has it. Back to Griffin. Griffin probably needs to come out and play a bit more than rather than hanging back there. Interesting to see if this goes to four on four, who it will suit better. Alan Grant still has the ball. Matt O'Malley has got to go looking for it. He has it now. And the corner is conceded. Alan Grant with the ball back to Brian Griffin. Griffin finds Murphy. He'll go wide and look to get it back. Maybe it'll be Conor Beattie. Matt O'Malley has the ball now. Conor Beatty, little tap into Griffin. And um, we have a tied game and we're going to go to overtime. The goalkeepers are going to come out here. And in the course, in the five sides, four v four, in overtime, the goalkeepers come out. We play for two minutes, four v four. If it's still tied, then we take, <coughs> we go to three v three for another couple of minutes, and we could eventually end up at two v two. And if that's the case, then it stays at that until somebody scores a goal. And. Is that the sun I see who's coming out to shine on us for the main final in this and the overtime of the over 35s? <coughs> Referee PJ Norman gets the game underway. Now who's gonna who's gonna be brave here and come away from the goal? Oh, it's Connor Beatty. Oh no, it's uh, it is Connor Beatty on the ball. He finds Alan Grant. Get a touch. It's a bit greasy. Oh, that's a beautiful ball inside by Grant. Matt O'Malley is going to get the winner, and he does. Matthias O'Malley. Excellent goal. They'll replay that again tonight on many occasions down in the office bar. So in the battle of West United, it is West United who have won.